discuss. Alrighty, it has taken four years to restore, but the Castle and Key Distillery is now finally open to the public, officially opening its doors just yesterday. And there's a special way you can enjoy the historic property with a Castle and Key experience. Lee Cruz joins us from Woodford County with the details. Yeah, guys, today we're broadcasting from Castle and Key, which has officially opened its doors to the public. So now you can come have an experience. You can taste some of the great spirits that they're already uh, creating as get a tour of a facility that's just surrounded in mystique and mystery. And the master distiller here is Marianne, who is with me. Good to see you, Marianne. <laughs> Good to see you, Lee. She's the distiller to the stars, as we say. <laughs> um, I know you guys have got to be excited because you've been anticipating this forever with all the construction going on. Absolutely, yeah. Since April of 2014, when Will and Wes first bought the site, now to uh, September of 2018, it's it's been an incredible journey to get here. What's the reaction been so far from folks? Oh, people are really excited. I mean, pretty in awe of what we have accomplished in just a short amount of time. I think what is so great about it is that you didn't really replace things. You just incorporated them and made them better. That's right. We really felt it was important to preserve the authenticity of the site and maintain that patina because the, the site tells the story better than we could. Yeah. Right now you're looking at the, the gardens that uh, this is John Karloftis' work that he helped uh, revitalize this and bring it to life. His fingerprints are all over the place. Uh, there's so many things to see and do. Uh, I think uh, last week Haley and I visited the boiler room, which is now a retail space. That's right. The, the boiler room was the heartbeat of the distillery back when it was operating during National Distillers time and even before during Colonel Taylor's era. And now it'll be where all of our guests come and gather and, and get their castle and key spirits and swag and, and gather mm -hmm. for their experiences. So if I want an experience, I come visit you guys, what happens? Walk me through that. Well, it's a, it's going to be a different type of experience. We're going to curate it to what your interests are. So we're going to do a little bit of probing when we first get started to figure out, you know, are you more interested in the architecture? Do you want to know more about the technical uh, distillation processes? Do you like flowers? Uh, and then we'll take you on a tour that, that really appeals to your interests. Right, and again, it's some place that so many people, if they were ever down by the road, they thought, what is that magical place? And now you got access to it. As I've said before, it's the uh, Disney World of Bourbon. And the <laughs> bourbon that Marianne is working on is going to be uh, bond and bottled, uh, but we're thinking late 2021, something like that. Yeah, so we, we started distilling in November of 2016, and bottle and bond has to be at least four years. So we're going to wait until 2021, and, and we'll see how it tastes then. By law, it has to be four years, but you can release it after that at your discretion because you want to make sure it's delicious. Exactly. The, okay. the flavor is going to drive the release for us for sure. Can't wait to see what they come up with. Marianne, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. If you get a chance, you should come by and visit the uh, Castle and Key. Open officially now for business. Back to you guys. Lee, yeah. thank you. And that place is so pretty. It is so pretty. Yeah. And important to note, yeah, their bourbon's not out yet, but their gin and their vodka mm -hmm. is. So try that out. It's really delicious. All right. Quite the experience. Yes. All right.